We have a cold front that's going to push through this evening, and behind it, we are going to get freezing drizzle, freezing fog, and even some light snow. So, this is going to make a mess of the roads starting late this evening, and they're going to stay. Very treacherous into tomorrow morning. So plan on it now. If you have to get into school or work tomorrow morning, leave early because we are expecting slow and icy conditions. The National Weather Service has gone ahead and issued a winter weather advisory. This is the area in white on your screen. That winter weather advisory goes into effect at 7 o'clock tonight, and we are expecting 1 to 2 inches of snow. Skycast is showing that the cold front, as it drops toward the south, it's going to bring those showers right around 8 o'clock. The showers are going to start as freezing drizzle, but as we take you into the overnight hours, while the showers will stick around, the temperatures will get cold enough to transition the areas of freezing drizzle into light snow. This is when we're going to get that snow covered ice scenario, very similar to what we had out there on Wednesday. We're not expecting a ton in the way of snow, most areas getting anywhere from a dusting to up to two inches, but it's going to be that layer of ice that's going to cause the biggest issues. It'll be right around 10 to about midnight when we'll see the heaviest precipitation, but as we we take you into the early morning hours. We should start to see those showers winding down. We'll have a few lingering areas of light snow to contend with on your way into work, but it will be the ice on the roads that again is going to slow you down the most. At 8 o'clock tomorrow, we'll have those lingering showers, but by mid morning into the early afternoon, the showers are going to come to an end, and we should start to see the clouds breaking up as well. Aside from the tough day of travel, we are expecting a very cold day also. High temperatures tomorrow only getting into the 20s, so it is going to be a frigid Friday. But this weekend, we are going to warm things back up. We'll hit 48 degrees on Saturday, 43 on Sunday, with temperatures then falling once again Monday into Tuesday. Tuesday, your high sitting at 32 degrees. We'll have a 10 to 20 percent chance for even more snow in Colorado Springs early next week. In Pueblo tomorrow, it's going to be a cold one. 25 degrees. We'll have those early morning showers, but then by the afternoon, everything comes to an end. But just like Wednesday, we're not going to see temperatures warm enough to do a lot of melting, so we are expecting a slow evening commute as well. 50 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, 46. Travel this weekend looking okay, but early next week, we are going to get that next round of snow. In Canyon City, tomorrow 29 degrees is all we get to. We'll hit 52 on Saturday, 47 on Sunday, with temperatures then in the low 40s Monday, and then 30s on Tuesday, with a 20% chance for snow. Teller County, 35 degrees tomorrow, 44 on Saturday, with temperatures in the 40s on Sunday, 30s then Monday into Tuesday, with another round of snow before things begin to quiet down and warm back up late next week. I cannot stress it enough. It is going to be slippery tonight. You'll look out the window, the roads will look wet, or you'll think, oh, we we don't have that much snow. Roads are fine. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. They're going to be slippery, so just bank on the fact that you are going to need to leave early tomorrow. Give yourself extra time and please drive slowly. Don't speed into work tomorrow morning. It will only cause more problems for everybody. Watch else. out for that frizzle. Frizzle, snizzle, it's all awful, and we're getting all we of it tonight. We upgraded from snizzle to frizzle, huh? Yeah, that's what mm -hmm. we, and us I meteorologists. Like I like how when I'm over there giving the forecast, you guys are over here skeevy words to say. It's perfect. It's like that's a good little teamwork. We, we are very attentive to mm. hanging on your every word, just so you know, Rachel. Maybe too much. Ditto. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Rachel. Mm -hmm. well, we've got some.